in my last video, a bunch of you guys said that in order for me to be the best Blocks Fruits player in the entire world, I have to get the Mink Race V2 and V3 inside of Blocks Fruits. So the first thing we have to do is talk to this guy, Bartilo. Will you help to defeat 50 Swan Pirates? Ah, uh, that's a lot of pirates. We literally have no choice though. It does give a lot of XP, which is nice. So let's get right into it. 50 Swan Pirates is going to be a lot, but let's just, uh, let's just get it over with, I guess. So if you guys didn't know already, Swan Pirates are the these little guys over here. They're really easy to beat now that I'm uh, overpowered with my level against these guys, but still it's gonna take so long, 50 of them. I'm sure there's only like 10 that spawn each time. It's gonna be a long time, so I'll probably have to fast forward. All right, we're nearing the home stretch here. 47 out of 50, 48, two more, one more. Let's go, wow, 73 million XP. Bartilo, what do you got for me, my friend? Great work, now for their leader. Find and defeat Jeremy, the Spring Spring user. We already know where Jeremy is from the last video, or from actually the first video we went to fight Jeremy. He's, uh, I'm not gonna lie, he's pretty easy. Like, that guy was way too easy to beat. They gotta, they gotta make my friend Jeremy more OP. I feel like Buddha makes this a lot easier than it should be, because Buddha on top, what can I say? Okay, so he's supposed to spawn here. He hasn't spawned yet, but we don't have time to dilly-dally here. So guys, it hurts me. It hurts me to use Robux, but we have to. There we go, our friend Jeremy. Let's get into Buddha form here. Jeremy, my friend, it's nothing personal, man. It's nothing personal. Don't take it personal. You have defeated me. Now speak. Very well, I was brought into the Swan Pirates family and given the position of Coliseum Director. I've been rigging the event so that my fighters always win. What the heck? I have to find Master Swan? What the? Guys, look. We got the black spiky coat, finally. Oh, we're dripped out now. So now I'm gonna go talk to Bartilo again. I'm not sure where to go from here. Bartilo, what do you got for me, man? The tournament is back to normal. Go now, free the imprisoned gladiators who are jailed beneath the stadium. Oh, so now we have to go to the stadium. All right, let's go over to the stadium. I'm pretty sure we have to free some jailed guys, some jailed gladiators or something. Hello. So this is the Coliseum here. Is there anywhere that we can maybe move under? Um, oh, here's an opening. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? So here's, uh, we've got a bunch of people who are jailed here. There's a code. I forget where the code could be. There are a bunch of buttons here that we have to press. I'm pretty sure in a proper order, but I don't know where the code is. I'm going to try looking. All right, guys. So <laughs> I made a little bit of a mistake. I forgot to look for the code, but we have to remember this code here. So it's, it looks like a Y, uh, infinity sign. Oh my goodness. There's a bunch of things to remember. I'm just going to take a quick photo here. Boom. Photo has been taken. Let's go. We can finally put in the code that we just found. Y. Infinity sign. C. S. M. F. N. And last but not least, B. We are free at last. Please, sir, take this helmet as a token of our appreciation. Wow. Thank you so much, guys. Hey, it was really no biggie, you know? So now that we did that, I think we can go back to Bartilo and he will give us the next thing to do. All right, Bartilo, what do you got for us now, buddy? That's it. Thank you for your help. So that's it for the Bartilo quest. So me and Bartilo, we've had our good times. That was actually a really fast quest. And now we have to go over to this plant foresty area over there for the next quest. All right, so we've reached the forest area, the forest island. I don't know the, the real name of this island, but I think what we're looking for right now is we're looking for a scientist to continue the quest. And there he is, Mr. Alchemist. What's up? It appears you haven't unlocked your maximum potential yet. If you're seeking more power, I need you to bring me three different flowers spread across the entire map. The entire map? Oh man, come on. Why can't it be easy? I guess we have to find the three flowers. According to the alchemist quest, the blue flower only spawns during the night. Ah, oh, but where? All right, guys, I think this is gonna be the longest part right here, trying to find all three flowers, but I'm gonna see if I can do it. Yes, 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 yes. Here's the flower. Okay, first flower collected. This is the red flower that only spawns during the day. Wow, I thought I'd never get it. Holy smokes. I can't believe I got it. Let's go. Okay, so that's flower one down. Two more left to go. You know what we can do, actually? Let's try because you can only get the yellow flower by killing NPCs. So let's see if we can maybe get it from killing some of these NPCs while we wait for nighttime. Oh, what? We got it. We got the yellow flower. What? I didn't even notice that we got it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Flower two, flower three, collected. And now it's actually turning night, which is perfect because we can get the blue flower. Wow, dude, it's too easy. 
It's too easy. Ladies and gentlemen, the blue flower has been collected. Let's go over to Mr. Alchemist over here so that he can give us the next part of the quest. All right, Mr. Alchemist, here are all of the flowers. He said, good job. Now I can make the potion, but it's not going to be free. Pay me $500,000 to proceed. You already know. Yo! Let's go! All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mink Race V2 has been collected. So now we're already slowly getting to be the most OP Blocks Fruits player in the entire game. Now, all that we have to do is just get Mink Race V3 and we'll be good. I feel like Mink Race V3 is gonna be a little bit harder to get than Mink Race V2. But I mean, whoa, look at our dash now. We're so fast. Aw, oh, this is what I love to see. So let's go. Let's just automatically go and start the V3 quest. So now now, for the Mink V3 quest, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get a random fruit, just any fruit. Um, let's get bomb. All right, so now we have the bomb fruit. So now that we've got a fruit in our inventory, just watch, just, just wait because it's, we're gonna need it. All right, so the reason why I have a bomb fruit in my inventory is because we're gonna need it for this next part. All right, so you see this guy here? Let's give him the bomb fruit. You seem strong. Are you here to join our organization? Sure, man. Bring me an expensive blocks fruit to prove yourself worthy of speaking to Swan. I see. Let me take a closer look. This fruit is garbage. I'll take it anyway. Find me a better fruit. No way we have to find a better fruit. Let's see what other fruits I have. I've got phoenix fruit. I've got paw. Let's give him flame fruit. This fruit is garbage. Give me a better fruit. We're gonna give this guy all of our fruits, dude. So I'll admit, I'm stupid. I'm supposed to give him a fruit with a value of $1 million or more. Aw, oh, man. All right, you know what? We'll give him Phoenix. We'll give him Phoenix. So that's the cheapest $1 million fruit I have in my inventory. So we'll just give it to Trevor. Ungrateful guy, man. This is an excellent fruit. You may now speak to Swan. Thanks, man. It only took me three fruits to speak to this guy, man. Speak to Swan. Dude, Swan, how's it going, man? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, he wants to fight. So it's like that. Okay. All right, if you want if you want to fight, I'm going to give you a fight, man. Oh, look at him. Chopping him up. Oh, wait, what? He just regened his health. All right, dude. And just like that, let's go. We've unlocked a swan ship and heavenly devil. Oh, that's sick. Um, I'm not going to lie, dude. That swan boss was like really easy. So, okay. So now what we have to do is we have to find the secret NPC so that we can talk to them to, uh, to further this mink V3 quest. All right, guys. So you guys uh, might be wondering why I am on kind of a starter mountain right here where diamond is who's like a level 750 boss that's because there's actually a secret spot inside of this mountain where we can find arrow who will give us another mink v3 quest so uh, oh there it is dude that is okay that's pretty sick what's up arrow how's it going man what can you uh what can you say for us let's begin what i am arrow a son of rip indra I train those less fortunate than I. Um, okay, so this guy can make our race ability stronger. Sick. Talk to me again once you pick up 30 treasure chests. Oh my gosh, man. 30 treasure chests? All right. Ah, <sighs> five minutes later. 30! Let's go! So now that we have 30 chests, I think we can go back to the doghouse and uh, let's talk to our friend Arrow again. Well done. I, like many toads before me, have used this gift of mine to teach others. Wow, two million dollars, man. Well, it's a good thing we have a lot of money to give away here. So let's give him two million dollars and we have just unlocked Mink V3! Holy, so what... Oh, this is sick. Look how fast we're going now. So I think when we unlock Mink V3, it gives us uh, this new talent called agility. And we can go super fast. I think it has a 30 second cooldown, I'm pretty sure. But it just helps us to go really fast. And now we've got some black rabbit ears, some black mink rabbit ears, which is kind of really goes well with my, uh, with my new spiky coat. But guys, I'm so happy that we were able to get Mink V2 and V3 in the same video. If you want to keep watching, watch this next video.